Good afternoon or good morning or hello today. Gabe Valdez here with a quick video on how you can make your own uh, single-use water bottle, how you can model it on Onshape. I'm going to walk you through the process and not necessarily spend a whole lot of time on the dimensioning or the exact profile of a single-use water bottle, whether that be an Ozarka water bottle or a Core water bottle, Dasani, what have you. Um, I'm going to walk you through the process and then you can take this process and spend a little bit more time with it uh, to get the water bottle that you um, have chosen for uh, your uh, activity um, uh, or project 223 life cycle assessment, project 223, okay? So let me go to start with a sketch. I'm gonna go to select this front face. I'll reorient it so maybe I'm facing uh, directly on it. I'm gonna go ahead and essentially create the profile and, and I'm gonna use a revolve tool uh, to then uh, create the 3D model, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the outer, oops, I don't want, this, I want the line tool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start at the mouth of the water bottle. And again, I'm not focused on the dimensions. I'm just gonna give a general shape. You can uh, spend some time dimensioning this exactly uh, to meet the needs that you have for the water bottle that you've chosen. I'm walking you through the general process on how to make a water bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that outer profile. I'm going to use my offset tool to then create the thickness of the water bottle or the, the, the wall of the water bottle. I'm going to hit enter and on change that dimension. Um, and then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and enclose my sketch. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, I do have an edge here that I could revolve around, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a line here so I can create an axis in which I'm gonna revolve. But I've created that outer profile of my water bottle. I can go ahead and hit the check mark to finish my sketch. And now I can use my revolve tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. It's gonna ask me what region I want to revolve. I'm gonna select this here. And now it's going to ask me what my axis of revolution is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and select this line. I could have also probably uh, selected that edge here. And I'm going to go ahead and now get um, that. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And as I rotate it, you can see that it, it is hollow. And I have essentially a, a single-use water bottle. Okay. No, it doesn't look exactly like an Ozarka or Dasani. Again, I wanted to save some time and walk you through the process. And then you can use this process and with a little bit of extra time and care, sketch a better profile, dimension it to your liking or, or based on the water bottle that you have, and then essentially go through the same process. Um, I do wanna add some threading to uh, the mouth of my water bottle. So I'm gonna go to add custom features and there is a thread creator you could add. There is a thread tool here, but I had uh, some issues working with that one. So I'm just gonna do a search of thread creator and I've already added it, but I wanna show you which one I've selected, uh, which is this one here. When you click on it, it'll go ahead and add it to your custom features, and then you can use that um, and select it. It's gonna ask you the face you wanna thread, um, and it's gonna generate a thread. You can change uh, your settings in, ter in terms of thread type and, and, and pitch, et cetera, but it's gonna go ahead and click okay for now. Uh, so there is my single use water bottle, excluding the cap. Um, you can go ahead and, and sketch a cap and add that if you'd like. Um, one of the other things you're going to have to do is uh, also select the material type. So in the drop down for adding custom features, we're going to add a uh, material footprint. And so if you go to public and type in, let's say PLTW, what comes up here, PLTW material footprint, click on that and it will add it to your custom features. So we can go ahead and select that. And we're going to go ahead and add a material for this. So I'm gonna select my parts um, and I'm going to use the drop down to change it to the material. Uh, let me fix this again. Let's try that. There we go, hit okay. And uh, now that I've, I've selected the material for my water bottle uh, using that uh, PLTW custom feature, I can go over here and add a um, custom table is what I want. Um, you're going to have to come in here and I'm 
mine has already come up because I've added the custom table already. Your first time doing this, you're going to have to go down here to add custom table and uh, search public. And you are going to look for eco material analysis. And then you can select that, like part analysis, and then um, there we go. And then you can see the mass and then the carbon footprint um, for your uh, single use water bottle. And then you can use essentially the same process to, to um, select the material and, and do the same thing and compare it to the reusable water bottle. All right, I hope this uh, was helpful. Um, again, then focus on the actual dimensioning or the sketch profile of the water bottle. You can spend some time doing that. What I wanted to do was show you the process on how you can use that revolve feature to create a single use water bottle. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.